Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series on basic electronics. In this video, we will consider yet another numerical on the diode circuits. For the diode circuit shown, determine V0 and ID. The task is to find the output voltage and the current ID. So V0 is represented over here. ID is the current through the circuit. And there is plus 20 volt supplies. There is a resistance of 6.5 kilo ohm which is in series. And there is a supply of minus 5 volt. So how do I find uh, V0 and ID? So first let me find the current ID. So if I apply a KVL to this loop, I can find the current straight away. Before that I just have to write the simplified diagram of this circuit diagram so that I can apply KVL very easily. 20 volt is always represented as something like this. So let me write 20 volt. So this is positive, negative and connected to ground. So this I indicated as 20 volt. And there is a resistor. I will include that. This is a positive, this is negative 6.5 kilo ohm. And then there is the voltage V0, I'll just indicate it as it is. Then uh, the diode, whatever is there, I'll replace that with its cutting voltage. Uh, as it is made up of silicon, so it must be 0.7 volt. So this will be positive, this will be negative, and later I have the supply voltage and the supply voltage minus 5 volt so let me indicate minus 5 volt this way negative plus positive later and that towards then that will be connected to ground that is uh, that is there so this is negative this is positive 5 volt yes now the task is done i have written the simplified circuit diagram wherein i can apply kvl very easily so if i apply kvl to this loop and I can find the diode current ID. So what is ID equal to? Starting from here, uh, let me apply. Uh, before that, I'll, I'll tell you the rule. If I'm moving from positive to negative, I'll take the sign as negative. If I'm moving from negative to positive, I'll take it as a positive. Other way also I can take it out, but one should not get confused. Uh, we have to stick on to one rule. Positive to negative, I'll take it as negative. Negative to positive, I'll take it as positive. So let me start from this point. As I'm moving from negative to positive, I'll take it as positive 20 volt then uh, moving from positive to negative I'll take it as negative I said it is I into R ID into 6.5 kilo ohm correct then I'm moving from positive to negative I'll take it as a negative 0.7 volt and here I'm moving from negative to positive I'll take it as a positive 5 volt which is equal to 0. So solve this equation uh, for ID so that I can find the value of ID. So this is, I'll take ID to RHS. I'll be left with 20 minus 0.7 plus 5 equal to 6.5K into the diode current ID. Is that correct? So what is the value of a diode current is going to be? Therefore, ID is going to be 20 plus 5, 25 minus 0 0.7, 24.3. That gets divided by, uh, we have uh, 6.5 kilo ohm. So if you solve that, uh, we are going to get 3.738 milliamps. So this is the value of the current ID going to be. So this is the answer. So now, once it is done, I can find the output voltage V0. How do I find the voltage V0? So V0 is somewhere over here. It can be found in two ways. One is between this point and this point I can find V0. And I can find V0 between this point and this point. Both hold good. Is that correct? So I can find V0 in both the ways. In both the ways I should get the same answer. Is that right? So first uh, consider V0 with respect to uh, left hand uh, circuit diagram uh, which is there on to the left side of V0. There I have 20 volt and then there is a resistor. This is V0. Correct? This is 6.5 kilo ohm and this is 20 positive, negative, positive, negative, positive negative so how do i find v0 over here so starting from here if i apply kvl i'm going to get plus 20 then i'll get uh, minus id into 6.5 kilo ohm so it is 6.5 kilo ohm minus v0 equal to zero 
correct because i'm moving from positive to negative i'll take it as a negative so what is v not equal to so i'll take v not to rhs later i'll write v not is equal to 20 so let me write a 20 minus id id i got it as a 3.738 into 10 to the power minus 3 amps that gets multiplied with the resistor which is of the value 6.5 into 10 to the power uh, 3 10 to the power 3 10 to the power minus 3 would cancel 20 minus uh, that quantity so if i do that i'm going to get v not equal to minus 4.3 volt is that correct because uh, 3.78 into 6.5 turns out to be a value that is greater than uh, 20 so ultimately i'm going to get the answer of uh, minus 4.3 volt is that correct that is uh, i said there is one of the ways and i said that i can uh, find the same uh, v naught considering this part of the circuit as well is that correct so what is that so let me draw the simplified diagram so v naught was shown over here this is v naught and here i have the diode i'll replace the diode with its cutting voltage of 0.7 and it must be in this way so this is uh, positive, this is negative, 0.7 volt, this is nothing but positive, negative, this is a V naught. And after that I have minus 5 volt. So how do I indicate minus 5 volt? This is negative, this is positive. So here it will be connected to ground, this will also be connected to ground. So negative, positive, this is 5 volt. So what is V naught equal to? So I can uh, apply KVL to this, starting from this point. It is a positive V naught because negative to positive I'll take it as positive. Then uh, positive to negative I'll take it as negative 0.7 volt. Then I have got uh, negative to positive I'll take it as positive 5 volt which is equal to 0. So what is that? So V naught is uh, V naught plus 5 minus 0.7 is going to be 4.3 which is equal to 0. Therefore ultimately V naught turns out to be minus 4.3 volt. So this is just another way of finding the same V0, but I should get the same answer. As I'm getting the same, both the methods are correct. So this is how I find the current and voltage in this circuit diagram. I hope you people have understood. If there are any doubts, please let me know them onto the comment section. I will definitely address those doubts. Meanwhile, subscribe to our channel NG Classes for more videos on basic electronics. Till then, thank you everyone for watching.